गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू बिंदु डडवाल केमिस्ट्री लेसन्स हम करेंगे एच पी बोर्ड टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री का सी सी का केमिस्ट्री का क्वेश्चन पेपर सो लेट एस बिगिन सॉल्विंग द एस आई यूनिट ऑफ कंडक्टिविटी इज सीमन मीटर इन वर्स इन लेड स्टोरेज बैटरी द एनोज इज मेड अप ऑफ लेड The units of rate constant for second order reaction are mole inverse liter second inverse. The order of reaction for the rate law expression K rate is equal to K into A raised to power three by two into B raised to power one is one point five plus one two point five or five by two. Adsorption is a surface phenomena. The number of unpaired electrons in Fe three plus are five. Write the valence shell electronic configuration of lutetium with atomic number seventy one. The configuration will be xenon fifty four, four F fourteen, five D one, and six S two. The IUPAC name of this compound is diamine chloride nitrito N platinum two. Complete the reaction. Aniline plus bromine gives two four six tri bromo aniline. Complete the reaction. Um, sulfonation of aniline it will give para sulfa anilic acid or para amino benzene sulfonic acid. Draw the st structure of permanganate ion. So. manganese is doubly bonded to three oxygen atoms and singly bonded with to one oxygen atom with a negative charge the substances which spoil prevent spoilage of food due to microbial growth are called food preservatives iupac name of formic acid is methanoic acid which of the following is a positively charged sol so ferric hydroxide is a positively charged sol which does not belong to first transition series silver it belongs to second transition series hemoglobin is the coordination compound of iron ammonia is less basic than methyl amine aldehydes are generally more reactive than ketones in nucleophilic addition reactions due to electronic and steric reasons complete the reaction ethanoic acid plus sulfonyl chloride will give acetyl chloride plus sulfur dioxide plus hcl hexa aqua chromium 3 positive ion has the oxidation number plus 3 give electrochemical theory of rusting of iron so the surface of iron acts as a cell in which when carbon dioxide is mixed in water it acts as an electrolyte water uh, carbon dioxide dissolves in water to form carbonic acid which decomposes as hydrogen ions and carbonate ions the pure portion of a small cavity in the ion surface will act as anode pure iron will act as anode and will give electrons to form ferrous ions and at cathode the impure portion acts as cathode and takes up electrons and these electrons are then taken up by the hydrogen ions of the electrolyte along with the dissolved oxygen in the water to form water so um, as more and more iron from the cavity comes into the solution as ferrous ions which later get oxidized into ferric ions these ferric ions will react with the um, water molecule or hydroxide ions of the water molecule to form hydrated ferric oxide fe2o3 dot xh2o which acts as rust more and more rust keeps coming off the ion surface and more of more pure iron gets exposed to rusting this is the electrochemical theory of rusting of iron how much charge is required for the reduction of one mole of permanganate ions to manganese di positive ion so in permanganate ion the oxidation state of manganese is plus 7 it changes to plus 2 that means there is a difference of 5 electrons so 
a charge carried by 5 mole of electrons is 5 faraday so 5 faraday charge is required for reduction of permanganate to mn2 positive transition metal and their many compounds act as good catalysts this is because the transition metals are capable of forming reaction intermediates which lower the activation energy needed for uh, reaction and also these cat when they are acting as catalysts they pro provide suitable large surface area for reactants to um, get adsorbed on and the reactants come closer and thus the process of uh, combination gets fastened up so they are acting as a good catalyst how what are inner transition elements elements of f block elements are called inner transition elements because in these elements electron enters inner to the penultimate shell or the d block elements uh, the electron is entering a shell inner to the d block elements that is inner to the penultimate shell so they are called inner transition elements explain why copper one compounds are white because they are diamagnetic in nature they have fully filled d10 subshell in plus one oxidation state so there is no chance of jumping of electron to higher energy so they are white in color but copper two compounds are paramagnetic they have one unpaired electron this electron can jump to higher energy level and as a result give color to the compound define ionization isomerism give one example so uh, compounds which involve exchange of ion inside and outside the coordination sphere are called ionization isomers and the phenomena is called ionization isomerism for example penta amine bromide cobalt sulfate and penta amine sulfate or cobalt bromide are ionization isomer this on dissolving in water will give sulfate ions whereas this will give bromide ions uh, define diidentate ligand with example so uh, a ligand with two donor atoms so that they can attach to central metal ion at two points is called a diidentate ligand for example ethane 1 2 diamine is a diidentate ligand it attaches to the central metal atom through the two nitrogen atoms on the basis of valence bond theory explain the geometry and magnetic behavior of tetrachloride nickelate so oxidation state of nickel in this is plus 2 so in plus 2 oxidation state configuration of d of the nickel ion is 3d8 so um, so there are 8 electrons now as the chloride is a weak field ligand it cannot cause pairing of electrons so the outer d orbitals so the 1s and 3p orbitals will combine with each other to form to give sp3 hybridization and hence tetrachloride nickel late 2 ion is um, tetrahedral in nature and the magnetic behavior is paramagnetic derive integrated rate equation for rate constant for zero order reaction so integrated rate equation for zero order reaction let the reactants change into product the rate will be change in concentration of reactant with time equal to k into r raised to power 0 it's a zero order reaction so r raised to power 0 is 1 so equation is reduced to minus dr upon dt is equal to k or minus dr is equal to k dt taking uh, integration we get r is equal to minus kt plus i to find out the constant of integration let t approach 0 so r becomes r naught and equation becomes r naught is equal to minus k into 0 plus i that is i is equal to r naught substituting the value of i um, in equation 1 we get r is equal to minus kt plus r naught or r naught minus r is equal to plus kt or t is equal to r naught minus r upon Okay, this is the integrated rate equation for zero order reaction. 
what are pseudo first order reactions give examples so reactions which have molecularity 2 but order of reaction 1 are called pseudo first order reactions for example the hydrolysis of ester in the presence of acid is a pseudo unimolecular reaction to give acetic acid and ethyl alcohol it's a pseudo unimolecular reaction calculate the half life time period of first order reaction whose rate constant is 200 second inverse so we know that um t half is equal to 0.693 upon k k is 200 seconds so it comes out to be um divided by 2 is 0.3 4 and 6 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 or 3.465 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 this is half life period write iupac name so this is n methyl n ethyl ethena mean write chemical reaction of diazotization reaction so when aniline is made to react with nitrous acid which is formed in c2 in the presence of nano2 and hcl diazonium benzene diazonium chloride is formed n2 positive cl negative benzene diazonium chloride this reaction of formation of benzene diazonium chloride is called diazotization reaction it always takes place at ice cold condition 0 to 5 degrees centigrade or 273 to 278 kelvin temperature how will you convert ethanamine into methanamine so to convert ethanamine into methanamine we will ch3 ch2 nh2 on reacting with nitrous acid forms ethyl alcohol which on oxidation will form acetaldehyde which on further oxidation will form acetic acid when reacted with ammonia it forms ammonium acetate on heating it gives um, acetamide which on hoffman degradation reaction bromamide reaction um, on reacting with alcoholic hnbr2 it forms methanamine How, complete the chemical reaction amide on reduction forms amine what are antibiotics so antibiotics are antimicrobials which act against bacteria example is penicillin and chloram phenicol what are disinfectants so chemical substances used to kill microbes are disinfectants they are used on hard surfaces and cannot be used on skin example of disinfectant is 1% phenol aniline is a weaker base than ethylamine this this is because of inductive effect in aniline the phenyl group is electron withdrawing in nature whereas in ethyl amine the ethyl group is electron releasing in nature increases the availability of electrons so increases the basic character give an example of secondary amine and write its iupac name so when two alkyl groups are attached to nitrogen atom then the amine is called secondary amine name i will say name will be n methyl methanamine so on uh, nitrobenzene on reduction with tin and hcl will form aniline hexa aqua iron 3 is strongly paramagnetic whereas fecn63 negative is weakly paramagnetic why this is because water is a weak field ligand in plus the oxidation state iron has five electrons in its d orbitals and uh, because it cannot pair them up so 
outer orbitals sp3 d2 are engaged in sp3 d2 hybridization and so it is strongly paramagnetic due to presence of 5 unpaired electron cyanide ligand is a strong field ligand it causes pairing of iron so the five electrons get paired up in three orbitals and inner d two orbitals are available along with 1s and 3p orbitals to form d2 sp3 hybridization this is an inner orbital complex and only one unpaired electron is present so it is weakly paramagnetic Define coordination polyhedron. The spatial arrangement of the ligand in a coordination complex is called coordination polyhedron. For example, different coordination polyhedrons can be octahedral, tetrahedral, and square planar. Write four differences between lyophilic collides and lyophobic collides. So, lyophilic collides, there is high affinity between dispersed phase and dispersion medium, whereas in lyophobic collides there is less affinity between dispersed phase and dispersion medium lyophilic collides are self stable whereas lyophobic collides are unstable and these are reversible these are irreversible example starch sole example arsenous sulfide or ferric hydroxide sole what is tyndall effect the, the scattering of light by particles of colloidal dimension into a bluish cone is called tyndall effect right chemical reactions for the following clemenson reduction so when a compound containing carbonyl group is reduced with zinc amalgam and concentrated hcl into an alkene it canizaro's reaction when formaldehyde is treated with concentrated nuh or 50% nuh it gets simultaneously oxidized as well as reduced to form alcohol and sodium salt of carboxylic acid this reaction is called canizaro's reaction esterification reaction reaction between acid and alcohol in the presence of acid to form an ester is called esterification why carboxylic acids have higher boiling point than alcohols of comparable mol in term comparable molecular masses it is because there is more extensive association between carboxylic acids due to stronger hydrogen bonds and greater number of hydrogen bonds as compared to alcohols how will you distinguish between phenol and benzoic acid give the give one chemical test we can distinguish by reacting it with sodium bicarbonate benzoic acid reacts with sodium bicarbonate to produce carbon dioxide along with effervescence phenol does not give this test similarly if we react phenol with ferric chloride it gives a violet coloration benzoic acid does not give this test give the chemistry of iodoform test for detection of carbonyl group methyl carbonyl group so um, when a methyl ketone is made to react with sodium hydroxide and iodine it forms yellow colored precipitates of iodoform this test is given by these groups containing methyl group adjacent to carbonyl group um, whereas other compounds don't give this test how will you convert phenylethene or styrene into benzoic acid we reduce it with hydrogen nickel to form into an alkyl benzene and then oxidize it into benzoic acid if we react benzaldehyde with nitric acid and sulfuric acid mixture nitration occurs at meta position and meta nitro benzaldehyde is formed that's all in today's video if you like the video please do share and subscribe thank you have a nice day